yes guys how we doing i'm back uh it's been a while it's been like 10 days I, i'd say to myself i'm gonna pump these videos out i'm gonna keep making them but you know i've had a bit of a block like i just haven't known what to make a video about and this is this is actually what i wanted to make the video about so i sit down and i'm like okay you know there's so much stuff i can talk about there's so much interesting things i feel like so much value that i think i can i genuinely offer and like in terms of my perspective on things but um yeah man i mean the thing I was going to say is about, you know, kind of like a couple of things, uh, creativity, you know, when I sit here in this room, I'll be honest, um, if I'm inside four walls, I find it very, very, very hard to feel inspired, to kind of feel connected to the world. You know, I kind of feel isolated and I just feel disconnected from everything. Like I'm really not able to have a sense of like, I'm not able to really properly ground myself in reality. Um, and that affects my business right this is my business this is where i make money um so it's really important that you know well it's, it's about finding that balance so i'm at a point right now in my life where you know um i need to be going out at least once a day i need to be going to the gym i need to be going for a run i need to go into town i need to meet a friend i need to you know do something um because that really allows me to really feel just mentally stable mentally healthy i mean it sounds kind of crazy but i really believe there's an importance in always kind of being in some sort of ecosystem you you can't just isolate yourself i think and this is the thing like uh, i watched a video today charlie morgan made a video this, this, he's a cool guy i don't know if you've seen him he's kind of doing well on 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 youtube when it comes to like just self well, i say self-improvement but just content based around business and mindset and things like that and there is this kind of self-improvement movement, right? And that's the thing I think I would, I, a lot of people are like, oh, what do you do? Like, what kind of things do you make? I'm like, oh, well, I kind of make self-improvement content. But then when I think about it, I'm like, do I though? Because I don't resonate with that at all. I really haven't resonated with it. Uh, maybe when I first got into this, you know, I was doing cold showers, I was reading books, I was meditating. And these are things I, some of them I still do. Like I still meditate. I do find that really powerful, really, really helps me. Um, you know, it's a daily practice. I also do, uh, I don't do cold showers really anymore, um, but I do um, read. You know, books are valuable. Look, expert secrets. Uh, this book here, it's called uh, The Surrender Experiment. This is a cool book. And this actually is quite interesting because this ties into what the guy in the video was saying. It's Charlie Morgan. He's like, listen, you've got a goal. Like, he's like, self-improvement is just a cope. You know, it's just, and it is a cope. Like it is a bit of a cope, you know, people do self-improvement because it makes them think they're making some kind of progress. But actually, you don't need to wake up at 6 a.m. to make progress. You don't need to do all the journaling. You, you don't need to do that to make progress. You need to, you, you have a specific thing inside of you. Um, there's actually an amazing book called psycho Cybernetics. I don't have it near me, but I've talked about it before in a few videos and it's so good. I've recommended it to my clients. It's such a good book. Because it tells you what's called the success mechanism, right? There is a mechanism inside of us. There's a, a kind of like um, a feeling we get with the things that we actually need to do, the next step in our life, the thing that we want to accomplish, the thing that's right for us right now. And I, I'm a spiritual guy, you know, and that's really what, again, I always mention like what I want this channel to be, but I want to show my personality. I'm not, I am logical. I do run off logic. I am a down to earth guy, but I'm also very, very spiritual and I'm very in touch with my, my intuition. And, you know, I, I'm trying to really listen to my body and like, what is the next step? What do I need to do? Because just, I, I might need to do something that someone else, because we have to remember we're all in a different game. We're all playing a different, we're, we're playing complete different games. And, you know, it's like uh, playing Call of Duty. A lot of people are like, Ben, uh, what do you think? Do you think we have free will? Or do you think, um, you know, things, everything is fate and everything is predetermined? Uh, I, don't, I think it's a kind of a mixture of the two. I think, you know, if, for example, like if you play a game, even if you play Grand Theft Auto, right, you can free roam, you can do anything you want in the game. But in order to actually progress, you have to go to the certain locations and complete the certain missions. Otherwise, you don't actually make progress. You don't unlock everything. You don't get the full experience of the game. So even though you are free roaming, you are still essentially you know, you're still, it's still predetermined what's going to happen, right? And I think it's the same, like Call of Duty, you're running around, you're shooting people, you can go left, you can go right, you can do anything, you, you have free will, but in order to actually move forward, in order to make progress in the game, you have to complete the objectives, you know? You can just run around in circles and do nothing, 
but you won't actually progress in the game and you won't actually complete the missions. And I think life is the same. I think life gives us these things each time something comes up. Oh, okay, well, you know, and obviously this is one thing I talk about with my clients. It's like, oh, well, I'm watching this porn. I'm watching all this out. I shouldn't say that. Uh, corn, should we say. And it's kind of messing up my, my life. And that is the feeling, right? That is the objective. That's the Call of Duty objective. This thing is destroying you. This thing is negative. This thing is hurting you. I need to eliminate this. And then as a result, um, I will complete that. And then, then there'll be another thing, just like pulling tissues out of a tissue box, right? Each time you pull a tissue out, there's another tissue. Pull a tissue out, there's another tissue. And I, I really think life is like that. And I think that's what the Charlie Morgan was trying to get to in his video where he was just saying like, forget all this nonsense. Like I'm going to do freaking this. Or it's all a load of just nonsense because there is a million self-improvement books to read. There are a million habits you can do but there are only 24 hours in a day. There's only so much energy you have. And really it's about what is going to actually move the needle in your life. Now I'm even in this myself. I know what I need to do, you know. I'll give you an example. This laptop here, like as you can see, I've got a keyboard right here. This, that's because my keyboard's broken. Um, this is an old laptop. This is the first one I've ever had. It's just, it's, it's run its course. Like I'm kind of stuck as well. Uh, the battery's damaged. So I can't really take it to cafes and things like that. And like I said, it affects my creativity because I need to be, I like to just go to a cafe and just sit down and do work because when I'm in an environment, it changes the way I think. Uh, it puts me in a different state of mind. It allows me to think a bit clearer. It allows me to have a new, fresh ideas. because I can kind of grab inspiration from things. So that's something I need to solve, right? That's something I'm working on. I, I will do that, you know, very soon I will upgrade this to, you know, a nice, a nice new laptop where I will be able to be more mobile. So that's me moving the needle. So my, me doing that, now I have more, you know, I have more, um, I have I'm more mobility. And as a result, new opportunities present themselves. But once I've bought that laptop, there's gonna be another thing. Okay, well now Ben, you need to, you need to start doing this. You need to start building this funnel. You need to um, do this, or do you see what I mean? And that's really the ultimate goal because it's one step leads to another step, leads to another step. In order to get from step one to step two, you have to complete step one. You know, you can't go for straight to step two. And that's the thing I think a lot of people don't understand sometimes is they're trying to almost force success when you have to just do it. You have to just go step by step by step by step by step. And you're going to see other people that are ahead of you, which is social media, which is more or less mostly just fake. <laughs> and like people are just portraying like they're making loads of money, they're super successful when it's just not true. Um, and yeah, you really just want to focus on yourself, honestly. Um, it's one of the things I've, I think I've quite become quite, con I'm really, I'm really locked in in that. I really feel that like start of the year, I had a very kind of um, just kind of psycho mind in the sense that I was comparing myself to everyone. And I, I wanted, I wanted it so bad. And that actually destroyed the thing that I was trying to get. That actually pulled me further away from what I was trying to get. You have to just go with what, you have to take each step as it comes and you don't want to be pushing against like you don't want to be wasting energy, right? You really want to be using your energy e economically, and it's this is this is the stuff that people don't get. Like they they you, they just want to brute force success. Oh, I'm going to grind, grind, grind. It's it's not about that, you know. Success. Why does success have to be attached to struggle and difficulty and, and, and pain, right? It doesn't have to. Um, it can be achieved through. It's not that you don't have to work. Of course you have to work. Of course you have to put in work. But it's that kind of streamlined kind of like going the right way rather than having to force through a way that is going to be it's going to cause a lot more difficulty along the journey um but yeah i mean that's a, a big thing you know in terms of creativity or location um and yeah just really listening to your internal part of it so also too like I, i've mentioned in other videos the environment is huge you know over the last couple of days i've been at various events with various guys um all more successful than me, all these guys, every single one of them. So when you're in that room, when you're in that environment, you start to see your reality different. You know, when you're around people that have this kind of different mindset, they're really stuck in a box. And it's kind of sad, to be honest, um, when you get around guys that are just completely free from that and they're really doing stuff, they're really making moves, they're not talking about it, they're not trying to pretend like they are it. No, they actually are doing it. It, it definitely helps you, you know, and... Um, it, it motivates you, inspires you, it makes you want to try harder. And that's something, you know, over the weekend that I've, I've got to experience. I'm very grateful for that. Um, but yeah, honestly, the, the main message I wanted to give in this video, I just, I really wanted to make a video today. I want to make more content like this. Um, I think 
people want to people want to watch you know people want to have these little nuggets of motivation nuggets of inspiration and knowledge and that's really what i want this channel to be um but yeah my my kind of closing conclusion of the video is don't isolate yourself you know in the book four year laws of power isolation is dangerous um you don't want to be isolated you want to be pu putting yourself out there challenging yourself and measuring yourself up to other things and other circumstances is that's going to help you stay grounded that's going to help you stay motivated it's going to give you different types of inspiration so that's always something you want to strive for that's always going to be valuable is getting around people that are going to elevate you who are where you're trying to get to that's a that's valuable you know so make the most of that and yeah i'd also say too you know don't get so caught up in this thing this thing and that thing you know really focus on again what is going to move the needle you know really sit down and think about that like what is what do i need to do not not what some guy on YouTube said you need to do X, Y, and Z. No, no, no. What is it in your life right now that you need to do to, to move things forward, right? Um, and it could be something so simple. It could simply be, you know, I need to move. Like, I, I, you know, you're going to know what it is, but it could just be, you know what? Like, I'm watching too many corn videos on the internet, and I know this is effing me up, and I know I've tried everything, and I know that this is the one thing holding me back. I need to solve that. Well, if that's the case, then by all means go and solve that you know what i mean um but once you do that it's going to open it's going to be that that block is going to open the floodgates and these the next roll of things are going to start put being put in front of you um and yeah that we go through different times of life there's going to be periods in life where life's hard there's going to be periods where it's easier take it all in your stride you know in you know get you stay strong in the hard times and enjoy but make the most of the good times and you're going to find that, you know, you feel, um, you, you, yeah, you make progress, you make success. Keep, um, and yeah, and that's the, the real message of the video, guys, is really just about, uh, I hope there's some takeaways from this video, but yeah, really just about listening to your intuition and knowing what you need. Like, what do you need to function the best you can? Um, you know, and I'll, I'll close out with this little, little example. I haven't actually read this book, but I think it's from the book, The uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Because uh, I've spoke to a few people about it, and it's basically this concept of a far a, a farmer, right, or whatever you call it, someone who's got a chicken, and this chicken's producing eggs for him, right, and he is fully focused on this farmer. He wants more eggs because every time he gets an egg, he gets to sell it. He's making profit, so he's fully focused on I just produce as many eggs as possible, eggs, 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 go, go, go. And what he ends up doing is he ends up basically killing the chicken because his whole focus is just on the egg, the, the end product, but he's not actually thinking about all the things that that chicken needs in order to produce that egg. And that's what you need to look at your life. You don't want to just completely focus on the end product. You want to look at, okay, this chicken, if I just try to force it to get eggs, okay, I'll get some off the, off the front end, but in the long term, that chicken can't sustain that and it's probably going to die or something like that. Whereas if you actually focus on not, okay, maybe not getting as many eggs straight out the door, but being able to have that longevity because you're actually taking care of that chicken. You're, you're giving it the food it needs. You're giving it the, the right environment. You're giving it other chickens to be around. You know, you're, you're doing all the things to, to make sure that that, egg is, that chicken is always able to produce eggs. It's always healthy. You have to treat yourself like that because inevitably, you know, if you have your own business, you are the, you are the thing propelling it forward in, in most cases. So you have to treat yourself in that way. And that's what makes entrepreneurship so different to um working a nine to five you know working a nine to five all you need to do is show up to that job you don't even need to perform a hundred percent you could be 60 percent that day get away with it you go home and you forget what i mean it depends what role you're in but you know in some cases you don't have to really think about your job you don't really have to worry you you have a, a sense of uh, you know to a degree a sense of security and you know that that principle doesn't apply in the same way whereas when you have your own business like i said just your mind in of itself what video i'm going to create an idea like different things are going to affect your creativity. So there's so much more that goes into it. And I think it's something people don't appreciate. So this video really, I wanted to kind of raise that point and show that there are, uh, there's a very subtle kind of uh, awareness you need to have with yourself when you're on this path, if you want to be the best. Now, not everyone's wired this way. Some people are a bit more just go, go, go logic and just get shit done. I, I'm, I can be that, but you know, I find that right now, I feel like I'd be better. I'm better off in that mentality of 
being a bit more fluid and being a bit more free and being a bit more open that that's kind of what's been working for me as of recently um and i've definitely lost touch with that grind um but i don't think that's a bad thing and i think these things are up and down in life anyway guys 15 minutes long pleasure to see you all again thank you for watching if you made it to the end of the video and you enjoyed it you got some value from it and by all means i'd appreciate it if you could drop a like um it just lets me know if you guys liked it it also helps other people see this you know if there's something that would be beneficial for them and if you have anything you want to add if you have a question or anything like that by all means in the comment section below please drop a comment and yeah my instagram is in the description if you want to follow me you want to connect but other than that guys i appreciate this and i will see you in the next video very soon have a beautiful day